everyone. Today's story is The Runaway Iceberg and it's a Twinkle original. Land ahoy! shouted Rossi, looking out to sea with her telescope. Shall we dive in and explore, Captain? You know I don't like swimming, Gasper said with a sigh. Suddenly, a cracking sound came from below them. Before they had realised what was happening, a chunk of ice had broken off and Gasper and Rossi were floating out to sea on an iceberg. Quick, swim, shouted Rossi. But Gasper was afraid. I can't, he cried, peering in the deep dark sea below. The iceberg floated out further and further until they could no longer see land. What are we going to do? asked Gasper, trembling. How will we ever get back? We're brave explorers, remember, said Rossi, holding Gasper's flippers. We will find a way. Gasper took a deep breath. I guess we could use our flippers to roll back, he said. But which way is home? Lift me up, said Rossi. She climbed onto Gasper's head, but she was still not high enough to see land. Try jumping, she suggested, giving him a little nudge with her foot. Gasper jumped. And they both landed on the ice with a thud. Need some help finding your way? asked the snow petrel from above. Oh, yes, please, called Gasper. Which way is land? It's this way, called the snow petrel flying high above them. Gasper and Rossi used their flippers to row as hard as they could, but the current kept pushing them the wrong way. Need us to give you a push, asked an Antarctic silverfish from below. Oh, yes, please, called Gasper. The silverfish pushed the iceberg along until suddenly it became stuck. We'll never get through here, exclaimed Gasper. Need some help breaking through the ice? asked a blue whale from the deep. Oh yes, please, called Gasper. With a huge flip of its tail, the whale smashed the ice and cleared the way. Gasper and Rossi bobbed along behind it, glad to finally be on their way back to safety. Land ahoy, squawked the snow petrel. It's all been a great adventure, said Rossi, grinning. We are just like real explorers. The sun shone brightly in the sky as Gasper and Rossi headed for home. Hey, stick to your side, Captain, laughed Rossi, as Gasper's tail feathers tickled her feet. I'm right in the edge, grumbled Gasper. The two penguins turned to face each other in shock. The iceberg was getting smaller and smaller. It's melting, shrieked Gasper. We need to move faster. The silver fish swam quicker and the blue whale helped to push. But the ice was melting too fast. We'll have to swim from here, said Rossi. You can do this, Gasper. I know you can. You are the captain after all. The silver fish started to cheer. Gasper, Gasper, Gasper. Soon everyone had joined in and Gasper began to feel brave. Gasper gulped in with one big jump. He sploshed into the water. <laughs> he spluttered. It's so chilly. Use your flippers, shouted Rossi as she dived in on Gasper's head. Whee, said Rossi as she headed for home. Gasper flapped his flippers and followed nervously behind. It wasn't long before Rossi and Gasper were back home with their families. You did it, Captain, said Rossi. You got us through our most dangerous adventure yet. I guess I did, agreed Gasper, feeling proud. But I couldn't have done it without my trusty first mate. The end. Oh, I really enjoyed that story. I wonder what your favourite part was. My favourite part was when the big blue whale helped them by swishing his tail and breaking up all the ice. I thought that was quite funny. So as you can see, I have a black cat 
and a black dog. This is Hector and Jet. And Hector just loves Jet, don't you? You just think she's the best thing in the whole wide world. And they're very good friends. Oh, Hector. He just loves to lick her and clean her. <laughs> So from Hector and Jet, we'll see you again. Bye everyone.